And finally, new rule, let's take a break from bashing millennials for their safe spaces, man buns, and avocado toast. <laughs> and give them credit for doing something right. Having less sex than other generations, and so less babies, which is good for the planet. Every week, it seems, there is a new study about how little sex millennials are having. Researchers at the Nunya Business Institute... <laughs> <laughs> ..have found that people between the ages of 18 and 30 just don't fuck like they used to. <laughs> Due to financial constraints, career aspirations, and mostly an unwillingness to put down the phone. <laughs> Also, more young adults, of course, are living at home, and it's just awkward to say, Dad, can I borrow the bed tonight? <laughs> but instead of asking why America's young people are having less sex, let's just be glad they are. Earth Day is coming up, and I can't think of a better gift to our planet than pumping out fewer humans to destroy it. People talk... People talk a lot about bringing a cloth bag to the market and driving electric, but the great under-discussed factor in the climate crisis is there are just too many of us, and we use too much shit. <laughs> climate deniers like to say, there's no population problem, just look out the window of an airplane, something but empty space down there. But it's not about space, it's about resources. Humans are already using 1.7 times the resources the planet can support. The world's population is increasing by a million people every four and a half days. And that's just on the 405. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need smaller carbon footprints. We need less feet. <laughs> I mean, some days, a simple trip to the grocery store takes hours between the traffic and finding parking, the lines. I tell you, I don't know how my assistant does it. <laughs> so it's no wonder millennials are freaking out about having kids. They and Generation Z are waking up en masse to the idea that way too early in their lifetimes, the planet is going to be a shit show. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez <clears throat> recently did a live Q&A on Instagram where she said it outright. She said, young people are asking, is it okay to still have children? Now, of course, the Republicans had to respond because they're obsessed with AOC. It's ironic, she's against fossil fuel, yet she gives fossils fuel. <laughs> Utah's Republican Senator Mike Lee went so far as to rebut AOC's threat to stop breeding by saying, climate change is an engineering problem and problems of human imagination are not solved by more laws, but by more humans. Which is easy for Mike Lee to say, he's a Mormon. <laughs> when he dies, he gets his own planet. The solution to so many of our problems at all times and in all places is to fall in love, get married, and have some kids. Ugh. <laughs> sure. Sounds like something Colin Firth says at the end of a rom-com. <laughs> but again, remember, <clears throat> Mike Lee belongs to a cult that believes all sorts of fantastical nonsense. It's called the Republican Party. <laughs> but, <clears throat> but I gotta tell you, liberals are also at fault on this issue. I've never heard a liberal say that falling birth rates are a good thing, which they are. Everyone talks about falling birth rate like it means there's some, something desperately wrong with the country. They're depressed. They're not fucking enough. <laughs> You know what, whatever problems are caused by falling birth rates aren't nearly as dire as the ones brought on by overpopulation. In 1900, there were less than two billion people on Earth. Now it's approaching eight. We can't just keep going on like this. The world is just too crowded. When was the last time you sat comfortably on an airplane? <laughs> Wouldn't it... 
Wouldn't it be nicer to just have fewer people around? You know, it's no secret that there are a lot of Jewish people in show business. So on, on days here in Hollywood when it's a Jewish holiday, the traffic, delightful. <laughs> delightful. That's what we should be shooting for, to make every day look like a Jewish holiday in Los Angeles. <laughs> so, please, masturbate. Don't procreate. <laughs> Yank it until Trump is throwing paper towels at you. <laughs> And remember, the best thing you can do for Earth is not have kids die and stay dead. Have a great weekend, everybody!